on that. The old city wall. And the arches. Today is Labor Day in Italy. That's a national holiday. Olga is particularly energized today after being in the house for a few days. What I call getting some heavy rest. We finally get out and take a look around. And this is just on the way into town, <clears throat> city center, Verona. There's going to be a parade, lots of people. Musicians are starting to warm up. There's the honor guard. I guess the military is represented. And we're in the plaza just in front of the big arena. Quite a plaza. Olga said, uh, we've been here a couple times, but we never walked this stretch. So, and I don't think we ever saw all the people. Huh? The people are out and enjoying. We just have to stay on the sunny side of the street. Having a coffee, having a biscuit. Sometime in the coming weeks, I'm going to have a little discussion about uh, bookings. Because even though we are traveling, we're constantly making some arrangement for the coming week, the coming month. Uh, we're budget travelers, so when we get the good deal, we have to take it. And uh, sometimes that adjust makes requires an adjustment in our other plans. Here we are at the arena. Two thousand years old. That's a good example of the the wall where they're doing uh, reconstruction. The first time we were here all of this was covered. We've not been inside yet. One of these times. But it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining.
It's very, it's very elegant. Yes, very good. Did you see the ones inside there? Very, very wild. I actually try not to because then oh. I'll have to go inside. Uh huh. You would have to leave the budget travel industry behind. Olga has that side of her. But the adventure remains within the tra budget travel sphere. Yeah, I, I would rather go to 10 countries on a budget than one country and a crazy financial. <clears throat> the reason I brought up about the uh, budget travel and making arrangements is that today we, uh, we booked our flight back to the States for June. And... Uh, it's a puzzle part. It puts puts a point in place. Uh, uh, the airfares are going up, and uh, we found an extremely good fare that is like a hundred dollars less than uh, a day later or a week later. So we went ahead and made the booking. I, I'm not so much often. Uh, taking these fashion shots. <laughs> it's a strange morning. It's always a strange morning. <laughs> Which makes it a normal morning. That one says Vigano with an I. Where? Maybe it's yeah, a name. That can't be it. This is not food. People are definitely out today. Just for our COVID check-in, uh, we have our masks on, but uh, we're only wearing them when we're in with a big group of people. And uh, I've had the discussion with Olga. I know nothing scientifically, but I think the move from pandemic to endemic is underway. <laughs> we hope for the best and adjust, adjust as necessary. But I'm looking at that jackal up there and people are hanging on it. And that's number 28. And it keeps going up and get some exercise bending backwards. Ciao. Olga said get ready. Okay. We turn the corner into the playa. Up and up and up. It's beautiful against a blue sky. And what a difference a day makes from uh, rainy and dreary to sunny and uh, a holiday and people out having some hope. This is the Poet Plaza? Uh-huh. Oh, we had seen this one before. Hi. This is a poeta. Okay.
Madonna. We're gonna make a walk through. And we saw this Macedonia. But it means fruit salad. It's all, uh, it looks like a fruit market. And this is the one that caught my eye. And these are Pinocchio puppets made in Italy. Did you see Snoopy in Verona? Did you see Snoopy in Verona? Yeah. Is this a calzone? It just said uh, tomato and mozzarella. Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. Good hoodie. Olga has an insatiable thirst for good hoodies. That's right. I didn't bring one on this trip. No, and that so that. a couple of the features is when it's windy, I, I do like to bring the hood up. Absolutely. This one has a... You can adjust. This is a like feature from my childhood. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. This one, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. we kept our hands in there. Uh -huh. yeah, it was winter, we should have been dressed warmer, but you keep your hands warm and you go out. Do you feel like this is a tourist market or is it just a pop? I haven't been here before, so I like to see everything. Mm -hmm. Like and dislike as I go. <laughs> Whatever. So they have some hand painted items. Oh, that doesn't look very inviting, does it? That, that thing could go around your neck. Oh, oh God, I hope not. What a beautiful plaza, though, huh? And the next lane just leads you down to the more amazing. Okay, we'll head towards the statues. Yeah, let's go continue. And to the right, look at those paintings on top of there. That's really awesome. That's amazing. On the building. Yeah. So nowhere to go first. Mm hmm You don't often have that quandary. So much to see, so this much to uncover. Well, there's a jester in the crowd, that's for sure. I've heard that uh, someone got to the gates of heaven and they said, what was the meaning of life? And he said, it was a joke, get it? <laughs> don't you, I don't think you'd get it until you got there and got happy. Yeah, I don't know if these are murals or, but it's very kind of unique paintings on the building. Thank you. 
It's not a penny fountain like Rome, but it is a nice fountain. And I hear that the winged lion is the symbol of the city of Verona. Oh. It's just everywhere, it's one up there. All right, we going through the arches? Yeah, we're going. All right. Ciao. We made a turn down a lane. And each new block presents wonderful architecture. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh huh. Colors of Italy. Not topa. Well, I broke that. What was the word? No touch. Oh. <clears throat> Well, I always felt like uh, that was that was a rule put in without the proper uh, line before it. You know, learn about it. Uh, it's kind of like the "Don't tell me what to do," but the better part was I'm going to do the right thing. You don't need to tell me what to do. <clears throat> I take some still shots of signs. And uh, <clears throat> the signs are not always uh, in a different culture, clear to the foreigner of what the meaning. So we have a little fun with that. Some beautiful uh, colors and shapes and designs. It's kind of like a uh, explosion of spring. It's not possible to capture everything in the frame. <clears throat> This is one of the cathedrals. <clears throat> and this is what they were saying that with every new yeah. and all the passage, good, all the good arrows are to the left, so we're going left. I would like to see the Teatro Romano. I think it's old. It's a ruins. Well, I mean, it's not uh, like the like the one at the arena, like the arena. Yeah. Murals up in there.
There's the church bells. Olga's uh, sniffing around as if it's coffee time. So yeah, we'll coffee. take a little break. Okay, moving down another side road. We've left the cathedral. Olga has assumed her position, 10 meters ahead. <clears throat> In the old days, I'm sure she would have been a scout. I was raised Catholic. And I'm happy to have had some uh, foundation. And then having traveled around the world, you learn that, uh, that spirituality isn't something on the outside, it's, it's within all of us. And we just have different ways of trying to access the reality. We've heard several languages here, <clears throat> but uh, on the English side, more Brits than Americans. We ran into an American couple in uh, Budapest, and actually we met a couple of Americans that were living there. They enjoyed the city so much, and they were riding bikes. to the top. I tell Olga's to thinking about handstand. Come through the arch and we're onto Ponte Pietra. This is Verona, Italy, Verona. We're gonna have to look and see. Okay, so we've heard other people say Verano. It's Verona. Even water sports. Quite a panorama on a beautiful spring day. And here we are. We are downtown Verona, and we just run into the river. And it's streaming pretty wildly. Look at that. And it's a little bit funny. There's a stand-up paddle boarder hanging on for dear life. Ah, there. He's now standing up on it, or going to be. There you go. It's uh, wild water, stand up paddle boarding, downstream, 
unless he's anchored to the place. I'm not sure what's going on there. What is this, a surfer? Aha, uh -huh. he's going against it. Well, that's a good workout for sure. Look at that. Yay. Bueno. Not sure what the object is, other than to stand up straight. Okay. Look at the crowd. Hello. Okay. Let's have a look at the other side of the river. See what we have. Other than water. Oh, we've got duckies. Beautiful view. Look at the hill there. What a beautiful day. Well, we just walked in on a flash mob. Something for the holiday. Give a little hope to people, huh? Awesome.